Hello from the mountains of North Carolina. It is absolutely gorgeous here right now. We're talking high 60s, low 70s during the day. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, my wife and I are here with the dogs. We've been here about a week and another week here. And we've just been spending some time in nature. I got a little too close helping someone who got stuck. I got poison ivy all over the place. But it's just been a fun time relaxing. One of the things that we do when we are here is we like going for walks or strolls in the woods, uh, different things like that. And I still want to be prepared, right? Even though the threat or the likelihood of an emergency happening uh, up here is a lot less than if I were in town, there's still a chance that it might happen. And I like to be prepared for those type of things. So I wanted to talk through really fast uh, when I go on a walk and even when I'm in town. Uh, this is normally what I carry. Uh, but when we go for walks, what do I have ready uh, in case there is an emergency? So bear with me. We're going to do this one handed because I forgot my tripod. And so I'm going to hold my phone in my hand. So first off, I have my pocket knife. I always have my pocket knife with me. This is just a simple pocket knife. This is a K-Bar. It's sharp, it works really well. Use it for a lot of stuff, so no complaints with that. Uh, in my other pocket, I have my flashlight, which I love, Streamlight products. This is the ProTac 2LX. Uh, absolutely fantastic flashlight. It's been through so much. Dropping in the snow, leaving it in the rain. It just keeps on working and it's a fantastic light. Love my Streamlight products. Excellent, excellent flashlight. Uh, the other thing in this pocket is going to be my Neomag holder with an extra mag for my carry gun. Uh, this is a fantastic device because it keeps your mag from falling in your pocket and moving all around and getting disoriented. Keeps it right up top, you know where it is. Uh, the bullets are pointed in the right direction, so you can easily grab it and do a reload if you have to. Uh, again, not that I'm expecting anything crazy happening up here, but, you know, you just never know. Uh, there is wildlife up here. I've never seen a bear, but I, they're here, I'm sure. They're right over this mountain is the state forest of Tennessee, and we're in North Carolina. And there's uh, game trails all around, so I'm sure they're here. Uh, hope I never run into one, but just in case, it's always good to be prepared. And that being said, uh, for the four-legged or two-legged threats, I do have my Canic TP9 SC. And this is a great little subcompact. It conceals really well in this Smoky Mountain Concealment Holster. Fantastic uh, carry gun, fantastic trigger, and it's like $150 less than a Glock. So I think I paid like $350 for it, but excellent, excellent carry gun. Uh, fits really well. I carry appendix and so it just fits right in there. Um, I do carry it with my next belt. Belt, fantastic gun belt, nice and sturdy, rigid, holds everything up really well. And then last but not least, I carry some basic medical and trauma with me in my Mystery Ranch hip pack or uh, as a few decades ago, a fanny pack. Uh, this is something that I got not too long ago, maybe a month ago, but I'll tell you what, I've been wearing it everywhere I go, in stores, it's not very uh, obtrusive, I can throw it on, it looks pretty normal, it doesn't draw a lot of attention, but I feel much more prepared having this medical equipment on me, even out here in the woods, right? You know, if you fall and cut yourself pretty bad, there's stuff in here to deal with cuts and scrapes and uh, band-aids and stuff like that uh, but even you know if you fall really bad and you get a bone fracture right and it starts sticking out of your skin uh, being able to deal with that and being able to stop the bleed if you have to uh, you know no matter where you are even if you're in town or in the woods if you have a bad traumatic accident it's always good to be ready and be able to uh, keep things under control until uh, the emergency uh, personnel come. Remember, you are your own first responder. So, again, that's just some simple things. Pretty lightweight. Uh, all of this gear 
pretty well thought through, uh, pretty efficient for my needs. If you have any comments or questions about this gear, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Or if you have something that maybe you like to carry on walks that I didn't cover, throw it below. Love to learn about new equipment, something that'd be cool to check out. That'd be awesome. You know, create a community to share thoughts and ideas back and forth and make each other better people. So with that, I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of my time in the great outdoors.